Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video. I'm Chris from iLeather.com and today we're going to do a head shave and we're going to use the Mula R41 with the feather blade which I'll put in here in a moment and Katie's Bubbles La Terra Verte which is beautiful beautiful stuff. I got to tell you when I go on sabbaticals um, and I use things you know many times in a row or a, a number of times I wonder why I spend all this money when I'm not on sabbatical or at least buying sabbatical because I really enjoy a lot of the stuff that I already have and it works you know beautifully and uh, here's the R41 by the way um, works beautifully and really there's not that much reason to uh, to change it however I like to try new stuff so you know it is what it is let me uh, wet the dome and then we'll get started with our R41 on the dome stay tuned all right, so here we go. Just decided to make another video because I'm off today and uh, chat with you folks and catch up and see how everybody's doing or at least tell you how I'm doing. Um, again, this Katie's Bubbles is beautiful stuff. I don't expect to have any problems with the R41. It is aggressive, but not scary aggressive. And I put a feather blade in it. Ooh, <laughs> like that's something to be feared, folks. Feather is a sharp blade, but they're all pretty sharp, and you want a sharp blade. Now, what you can make a case on is that perhaps it's not as smooth as it should be, especially on the first shave or so. I'll buy that. But the fact that it's too sharp, I don't buy that. You may just not get along with it. It may just not be a blade that uh, you really enjoy. But uh, it's nothing to to fear and we'll see how it goes. Um, I will say that um, I cut myself more on the dome with the ease because I have these bumps and whatnot but um, we'll see if we can make it through today without <laughs> cutting ourselves. Either way, no biggie. We'll live and, and see already right there there's a bump and I've uh, nicked it. That's one of the reasons why I uh, enjoy carts. It's not that this blade is too sharp. It's just the way the blade is and the way it sits. Um, it is more likely to cut me and that is a bump. It's not just a cut of my skin. But we're not going to worry about it. No. And that's why I, I prefer to use carts on my head. Um, just works a little better generally for me it may not for you um, but for me um, tends to do a better job getting close without uh, cutting me and uh, let's get that up there. as you can see <laughs> it took no time flat for the for the blood to start uh, flowing there for that little bump um, but you're gonna have that sometimes when you have imperfections on your head. Um, in my view, a cart glides over that a little easier. Whereas a DE, without the pivot and all, it just sort of <laughs> cuts it right off, which is, you know, exactly what's happened there. So we'll live, no worries. No worries, be very careful around your ears, folks. All right, so the first pass was not bad other than this uh, Nick, let's uh, let's try something different. Let me uh, let me remove that and stand by. I'm gonna actually use a styptic today and see how that does. Stay tuned. All right. So if you don't have a styptic, I, I uh, recommend you get one. You just wet it and rub it on the cut, and we'll uh, rub it there for just a second. It will dry to a white um, type powdery surface, so you will have to wipe it off later. But I'm just trying to keep it from bleeding too much for the time being here. It'll probably reopen when I relather anyway, so we'll give that just a second while I work my La Terra Verte a little bit. I hope all of you are doing well, um, and I hope you're not <laughs> each other's throats. I had noticed in Razor and Brush that it had been tense, you know, with mostly political stuff, and uh, it's unfortunate. You know, we should... Uh, you should be able to have spirited debates with folks, but it shouldn't get to the point where people are at each other's throats. And sadly, 
Um, that's the case. I got a bowl of lather here, which is why I'm just getting a little more lather. Um, anyway, we should be able to, I think, um, what folks ought to do is separate individuals from policy and talk about policy, but not individuals. Like you hate Trump, you hate Trump. I get it. But why not talk about his policies? Or do you even know what his policies are? In some cases, folks don't have a clue. And they're just, you know, sort of bound to a party or ideology and they go with, they don't, the truth is he hasn't done that much. So chances are your life hasn't really changed that much thus far. So, as I was saying yesterday, it's important just to relax right now in these, you know, turbulent times. So, I, it's very sad that Otto, I can't think of his last name, forgive me, the young man from, I believe it was University of Virginia, who, um, I'll probably open that up again, that bump, um, died uh, yesterday, and of course he had, uh, I think he was taking a course or something in China and they decided to go over to North Korea. Bad idea. Bad, bad. Folks, if you're not a d diplomat or something on a, an official, you know, U.S. in some capacity, I would not advise waltzing into North Korea. And I'm not blaming him because, let's face it, um, he was alleged to have taken a propaganda poster and they gave him 15 years hard labor, folks. Think about that. Just for taking a poster. That's what they alleged. He confessed to it, but some think it was coerced. But anyway, um, think about that, people. How severe that is. Hard, and when I mean hard labor, I mean hard labor. You know, it's no joke. Bottom line, we have no business waltzing into North Korea as long as this regime is in place. Um, there's another Nick. And that one I don't think is a bump. I think I actually got myself there. So that's just me being rusty with the DEs. But no worries. We shall live. Let's uh, get a little water here and we'll go for a, another pass. This is, this is the reason why I really prefer cards, because I, I just don't have that problem. They just, they glide effortlessly over my in, imperfections on my head and uh, get very close without cutting it. I'm not sure exactly why. I think some of it is the pivot, and some of it is, you know, who knows why. But I tell you, the, uh, the DEs will definitely cut it, um, and especially when you have a more aggressive razor. But... You know, it's not a big deal. We'll, we shall live. No worries about that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, as you can see, I think I got about four days growth on the <laughs> beard here. I'm just, you know, seeing how it will develop since I'm not, uh, I'm not doing a lot of shaving videos right now, at least face shaving videos. So I figure, oh, let's let it grow and just see. I don't think I've ever actually let my beard grow out beyond a few days, so. This will just be an experiment to see what happens. It might come out patchy and looking silly and I'll uh, shave it because I certainly don't want to look like a, a hipster, <laughs> you know, with a patchy, raggedy uh, beard. But we'll see how it goes. Give it some time. And I know people are going, oh, I used to always crack on people for beards. Yep, I did. And I would crack on myself too if I didn't have the head to shave. Because the head is both more difficult to shave and there's more real estate than your face. So I still have, go easy over that spot, plenty to shave, given that I'm shaving my head every single day. And uh, I have enjoyed it thus far. All right, so we didn't do too bad, we did, uh, we did cut a bump off, and I think I got myself a little there, and that's not an imperfection. That's me. But it's not due to the blade or anything. It's just due to me, my technique. All right, let's rinse that off, and then we'll come and we'll finish it off. We'll do a, a final pass with the uh, Schick Extreme 3, which I think works uh, beautifully. All right. 
There's some Katie's bubbles. I had a bowl lather going here. I hardly ever bowl lather, but today I said, what the heck, why not? Let's just lather up one more time and see if we can't get everything good to go with this uh, final pass. And maybe we'll touch it up, feel around a little bit. We'll see. Chic Extreme 3, which uh, for me works magnificently. Actually, let's go this way because I, I get the spots better coming from this way because it's more against the grain. And you'll hear back there, I can just dig in a little better and get it a little closer. That may, may be a mosquito bite that, I've, uh, that I nicked there because the mosquitoes are now out in full force here because it's been hot and raining. And with all that moisture, they are out in force now. And I hate them. They are just um, vile creatures that love me. Must be my sweet skin or sweet blood, whatever the case may be. But anyway, I strongly dislike them. Let's put it that way. Um, with this card, I can shave my head you know, pretty quickly. And you can be fairly careless with it as long as you don't get into your ears usually not cut myself um, and usually just does a phenomenal job let's get these few spots let's see right here there's always a spot right there pull a little of that lather out there and get that there we go really got to dig in there good and right here Right around my ears, I have to dig in a little bit as well. Right there. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm really digging in. If I do that with a DE, it is blood all over the place. It will not reach it without me applying pressure, which is why I use a cart like this for this purpose. There we go. Dig in. I can use a lot more pressure without cutting myself. It would be, oh, it would be crimson all over the place with the, uh, if I'm not, if I'm applying this sort of pressure with uh, a DE or SE, trust me. I've tried it a little bit and I was like, no. Let me rinse and we'll come back and uh, we'll get this area, we'll get the neck and then we'll wrap it up, stay tuned. All right, let's apply a little more styptic there to the cut. And I think I got my head right there. And that will keep it at bay. I'm surprised it held as well as it did through relathering and didn't bleed all over the place. The styptic does work uh, well. It just the thing you have to be cognizant of, if you use it, you need to make sure later you go back and remove that residue because you'll have a white film um, wherever you apply it. So just be cognizant of that. You can get these at like Rite Aid, but... You can get it much cheaper, like on eBay or some of the shaving shops and vendors. Uh, at Rite Aid, it's probably, you know, five bucks or something. But you can get it a lot cheaper um, in the other places like eBay. All right, let's let's touch this up a little bit. Get that hair off my neck. I can't stand that hair on my neck. It aggravates the heck out of me. And uh, we'll get that cleaned up. And then we should be good to go. Let's lather up again. And just clean that up. The La Terra Verte is excellent, by the way. It's a fougere-ish type scent. Not spicy, more of a grassy type um, scent. But it's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Uh, let's go this way this time. There we go. Let's clean all that up. And make sure we... Don't itch for whatever reason. The beard doesn't itch on my cheeks, but boy, on my neck, it will itch and drive me nuts. And uh, that's just not a good thing. You don't want to be aggravated with it all day long, or at least I don't. <laughs> all right. I think we're in pretty good shape there. We'll uh, call that a shave, I do believe. Let me rinse this off. We'll come back with the thayers and close this baby out. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are with the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel, which is great stuff. All right. 
feels great. The dome is feeling really nice and smooth. And let's make sure we don't forget her face. Uh, I'm, about, I'm about to take a shower, so I'll put on the aftershave after I get out. But I want to thank you folks for joining me once again. I got wetter than usual today because I was really rinsing off. Um, the gear today was very, very good. Katie's Bubbles, Lutera Verte, check it out. Great stuff. Feather. I did nick myself, but it's not due to the feather. It's just my um, lack of really skill with a DE. We used the Mula R41, which did, a, did excuse me, an excellent job. And we're going to grab a shower now and uh, get after it. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.